What's up guys? Uh, my name is Gannon Lang and I'm going to show you something from the Anubis card. Um, so if I can get Jake to stand up real fast. So basically what Anubis card is, is it's single leg X with the opposite lapel wrapped under your inside knee. So we're coming here and I'm going to wrap around with my left hand and making sure always that the lapel is capturing my knee. So if he moves, go ahead and move real fast, I'm connected to him. If I do it like this, where my knee is free, I have problems, okay? It's gonna be more for like wrestling up. But if you wanna stick to your opponent with this guard, just making sure that this knee is connected here. So if I kick this down, he's going to move, okay? So this is open Anubis guard. I'm going to switch my hips by using my foot on the ground. And I'm going to chop over his knee and pass my lapel grip here. So now, if you notice, my foot is completely erect. I'm going to pull him in. And sometimes what happens with my opponent is if I off balance him well enough, he'll just roll right over this shoulder. So if I come here, now I have a different kind of entanglement. So what I'm going to do first is I need to make sure that I win this battle. So my foot needs to beat him inside here. The second step is I'm going to bring this foot on the other side of my head. And if you could uh, come around this way just a little bit. So what I'm making sure is there's weight on this foot. If I just leave it here, he's going to be able to move it everywhere. So I need to be going here. Go ahead and move it a little bit. Like it's very difficult with the torque. So now I'm going to grip one and switch my grip. Just like so. So my palm is facing up. So now I'm going to use this foot that I beat with his, with his uh, inside of his knee. I'm going to switch my foot to his hip, just like so. Now, what typically happens here is they're going to try and stand up. So he's coming up like this, but if you notice, I have a connection to his upper body with this lapel, and I have this underhook. So if I really want to, I can just swing and bring him up, have him come out, whatever it may be. But commonly, they're going to be grabbing this lapel right like this. So now, I'm just going to grip like this, using my foot on the mat, and I'm going to push myself towards him as I pull this up, just like so, okay? Now I'm going to capture the head, keeping my knees nice and tight together. I swing on up, and I finish my arm bar. So, now I'm just going to do it real fast so you can see it in somewhat high motion. So, let's say I'm in single leg X, for, for instance, bring this lapel out, I switch one, two, I off balance him and he chooses to roll. I beat him one, two, switch this grip, and I'm going to bring this foot in front of his hips. I'm going to break, break, I'm going to break this grip here, and then I'm going to topple him back over and sit up. However you see fit, most of the time they'll, they'll connect their arms just like so. And when we're breaking arm bars, we always want to make sure our grip breaking pressure is going away from where his palm is. So if I'm going like this, his palm is already facing this way. It doesn't make sense. So I'm going to switch, grip like a Kimura, 